Back up, back up. You don't know me like that. Mm -mm -mm. Nights like this, I wish rain just would fall. I feel like I didn't hit record for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why I feel like I got to do What did you do, man? I don't know. Something's wrong with my brain. I know I hit record. I'm tripping. And I know I hit it like, of course I did. So, and I promise you, you're going to take this out of you getting back up and down. <laughs> I'm not. And? Back up, back up. You don't know me like that. Mm, 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 mm. The best is here. All right. Okay. Tell me about this hot dog thing. Yeah. So, hot dog. Hot dog. Mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. Dry spaghetti noodles. Okay. They're being stuck in it like that all, all the way through. Way. so it's a whole bunch of spaghetti noodles up top and bottom or just only up top just up top okay boil them okay then when it's boiled you roll up the hot oh, dog okay, okay. right mm -hmm. then you get yourself a hawaiian rolls <laughs> okay cut it open mm -hmm. uh garlic butter okay Okay. You fry it, the the Hawaiian bowl, so it's crispy on the inside. Mm -hmm. Then you slide it on top. Marinade sauce. Marinara sauce inside. So it's like a spaghetti hot dog. So it's like spaghetti and meatballs, but spaghetti and hot dog. Yeah. yeah. What kind of hot dog? I don't know, bro. Like one of them good ass ones or just like a regular? Is Spicy Original in here? Why, well, Spice seen it? She made one? Because she's in the, the food group, and so I've seen it there. Oh, I didn't see it in there. Boiled hot dogs are not attractive. Really? Boiled hot dogs? That's the least. I don't know how many other ways. You grill them. I can air fry them. Yeah. I can microwave them. I will not do boiled hot dogs anymore. Really? Boiled hot dogs? Hmm. You, you are what? Air fryer, grilling? Yeah. yeah. There, we've come a long way as a people. Crispy. I would, I would microwave them above anything mm. before, I mean, like before the air fryer days. Air were, fryers, boo. Why, right? why, so. why, uh, why not, why not boiling hot dogs anymore? Because I'm not poor anymore. Ooh. You know what I mean? It's the, it's the, it's the way like it tastes the worst. The like, crispiness. Yeah, you know what I mean. You want that good crisp, all the <laughs> terrible flavors in the water, mm -hmm. and then it's hot dog water. No, you got to you got to do a uh you got to put that mug on a skillet. You got to put that mug on the uh that crisp taste. Bro, that a uh, hot dog crunch. on a skillet, fire. A hot dog off the grill, fire. A hot dog in the air fryer, fire. Microwave and boiled are the least uh like those are the, I like I'm like if I put up to a cart, there we go. If I put up to a cart and I saw a hot dog being boiled in there, that look good. That looks fire, though. Yeah. That looks fire. Mm hmm Yeah. That's how you started off. I don't feel like that's what you explained. Well, I've tried. I've tried to memorize it. See? If he could get that hot dog to crisp, though. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I like the crunch, dog. I want to hear that. I'm going to show the people in a second. I feel like I feel like it looks better because of the... The presentation? Accoutrements. The, the presentation of yeah. it? Yeah. I'm going to show you all in a second what it looks like. Because if that hot dog was crispy, mm -hmm. it'd be crazy. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. he made the Hawaiian rolls like, yeah. like a, oh, okay, like a, like a bun. Yeah. Okay, I got you. I got you. And this is like a. I'll put this in the, in the video. Yeah, I'll send it to you then. Yeah. Come on. What is that? What's the stuff, the white stuff at the bottom? I don't know. What is it? It's not something. What is, is it? Is it feta? Oh, is it feta? Yeah. All right. Then he put the whole thing back in the oven? Yeah. I'm going to show y'all <coughs> what y'all think. Come on. If you describe that to me. Yeah. 
I don't want so that. So this the the dry hot dog. Mm-hmm. People just be making up. Shit. That's what's <laughs> As funny. you go, that's that's, that's all food is. I be making it up. Making it up. <laughs> the face you making is 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 because it looks. This look all this part looks disgusting. It doesn't look good until it's in the bun. Mm-hmm. Even this, I go like, yeah. But you, he could have fried that, right? How? And then put it in the water. Well, with the with the uh, spaghetti wrapped up into it. No, no. He didn't put on no skillet. Well, see, he could have though. I don't think to- he did though. Because all this, like, this still doesn't look great. But once it was all decked out, mm-hmm. I said, oh, if you brought me that yeah, decked out like the way he did, I was like, oh, I'd, I'd try that immediately. <laughs> but if you said, yeah, man, I boiled this hot dog, I'm like, eh, what's wrong with you? <laughs> I like the crispy brock. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I like that little snap in there. I like my wieners to be darkened, baby. Yeah. Black wieners. You know what I'm saying? Black meat. I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying, Lack? Yeah. How you like your meat, man? Uh-huh. You like your meat uh, dark on a little lighter skin? Hmm? It depends what we're talking about. You like the skin on or the skin off? Because some people like the skin on the hot dog or brats. I like to peel it off. I don't like the skin on. I want the on the full brats? skin. Yeah, you know, like there's like the, if you have like a sausage or something like that, there can be that um, that skin on there. And you can, some people oh, it's kind of chewy? Yeah. That's the foreskin. You know what the foreskin? Not yeah, a fan of that. Peel that off. Yeah. I don't want no uh, foreskin yeah, I, hot dog. Circumcised, I, uh, baby. Do you like skinning your chicken? No. You take your skin off? Bake no. and fry? Keep that skin on. Yeah? Hell yeah. Even, skin, though, even, though, even though, it's, though it's what? Better? I, I mean. It's better. I'm taking a skin off. Question. Could you fry skinless chicken? You can. You can fry anything. But you're not gonna get that skin crunch. You're not gonna get that because people will, they sell take... chicken skin like pork rinds. Yeah, <coughs> but I get it. I feel like they match the best part. <laughs> yo, Twilla, yo, Twilla told me this. Mm-hmm. I'm just finding this out. Okay, not even a week ago. Okay, <sighs> okay. I'm so ignorant. Two okay. things just popped up. I just okay. found out this is happening in real time. Did you know that when you go to like Jimmy John's or or Subway and you see the ham and they cutting it in real time, mm-hmm. they slicing mm-hmm. the slices of ham and turkey and stuff like that. That's not real. That's not real turkey or chicken or or ham. ham. What is it? It's processed meat. Mm-hmm. It is from the turkey, chicken, pork, Family. pig, <laughs> and they mix it up. Into a process system, and they mold it. They mold it into a ball. That makes sense. They they, <laughs> they do that a lot. They shape shapewear for meat. It's crazy. Tula Skins. told me this. He was like, "What do you think that comes from? Like, you think that's just like they just perfectly took it out what? of the the right in the pig? <laughs> that's not a pig <laughs> ass right there. It looked like a pig ass. Ain't a pig hip and thigh and ass. When you think about like that's a rump, that's like, not a rump. <laughs> that's not just a, that's not just a chunk of his leg." Where's ham come from on a pig? I got what part of the ham? No, it's, you do you do realize this? That's processed ham. Wait, wait. What do you say? Well, because we, hold on. Let's just let's everybody slow down. Everybody mm-hmm. slow down. Let's just figure out some things. Dog. Yeah. Because there are real turkey slices, but I understand what she's saying because how do you slice that turkey loaf like that? When you go like, what turkey should shape like that? Like how do you how do you get the sliced and deli turkey the deli that's right. what makes sense the bowls that be having and they slice it for you that's already processed you think they're just taking a chunk of the turkey out and giving it to the <laughs> no they've already chopped it up like ground beef and then they shaped it into a ball to make it easy but is it still a hundred percent turkey it's processed with some sort of salt a bind flavor but salt's natural no they. So I'm asking what is what else is in there? That's because a toilet question. That's somebody else who knows this. Like it's not coming right from the from the cow. It's not coming right from I the mean, pig. I mean, I get you. I, it has to go through a process where yeah. you go like, okay, they we're gonna grind this out up and, and they shape and, it into something. Right. This all makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Ham is a cured or fresh cut of pork from the hind leg of a pig. I know that. Ham can be preserved by wet or dry curing. 
mm-hmm. with or without smoking. Does curing just mean salting? Is that what that is? Yeah. The type of hands you find by the breed of pig is diet, the curing style, and whether it's flavored. Okay. So, oh, oh, wow. They have a whole. This looks like a ham piece. Right. The, this is the butt end right. ham shank end. Oh, boy. Right. Belly bacon, rib bacon, spare ribs. Ooh. But again, this is Lady. not coming right from the source, though. <clears throat> I never looked at what part of the pig I've been eating. I, I just I just thought, oh, this is fresh. <laughs> <laughs> There's a Boston shoulder, a picnic shoulder, roast or grind. Bro, you know what's crazy? Every animal has this, don't they? Yeah. Like, there's going to be a cow that's going to tell me what every piece of meat part yeah. is. I, I don't want to say I didn't know this. I didn't know this. Because they, they don't have the name in it. Spare ribs. Like, now that I see, like, of course I get <laughs> ribs. Because you're not, because I, I love when foods are hidden by the name. Like, the loin? I thought, I'm like, loin is balls. I was like, I'm not going on this loin. Yeah, but a yeah. tenderloin is up, it's like his upper back. Yeah. And you know what? I've seen a lot of meaty, fat upper backs. <laughs> That's probably not by the nigga right in between his shoulder blades. <laughs> that's probably got to be delicious. Oh, bro. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, ham hawk is just a whole leg and foot. That's wild. I didn't know that. I mean, like, I knew that. But yeah. I, I didn't know that. Like, I right. couldn't tell you which part was from where of a, of a pig. That's yeah. crazy. It's, it's a it's a brilliant business to to hide the truth of of what you call it a hamburger. We call it a burger. Why don't they have pig burger? You ever thought about that? They have Wait. pork burgers. You heard of that before? <laughs> they got every other type of burger, but I never heard of a pork a pork burger. <laughs> Why is it called a hamburger? Right, right. Oh, well, uh, maybe because it's from hamburger, from the country hamburger. What? What country are you talking about? There's a there's a place called Burger Hamburger, right? There's a there's a country called hum- Hamburger, right? No. Where is ham- ham- Where Where is it? Germany. <laughs> that sounds about right. There's a place called Hamburger. I'm hoping you're right. I hope you're 100 percent right. Okay, Google. Hold on. Is there a country called Hamburger? Shut up, man. You know what I'm talking about. Do you want to know what is the hamburger country? <clears throat> uh, country named. Where does hamburger? I think hamburger is from Germany. I mean, that, that might. According to Wikipedia, the term hamburger originally derives from Hamburg, the second largest city in Germany. Boo-hoo! It's a city. You said it was a country. Ah. Uh. So Hamburg, <laughs> which is still really close. Very I get close. This. Yeah. Because you're like, oh, I think it's from Germany. I'm like, right. well, Germany is a country. Okay, 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 okay. So, so yeah. I get a city in Germany. Yeah. Okay. You were just off a little. Nothing mm-hmm. to, nothing to. Felt good, well, man. I'm not, I'm not going to street like they would have roasted you and murdered you on yeah. any, any other source. Any other platform. We're not doing that here because. That was very close. That's well, yeah. way more than I knew. Uh-huh. I never knew there was a right. city named Hamburg. Right. Whatsoever. So you get kudos, bro. Mm-hmm. I knew it was no damn country, but yeah, yeah. All right, so some say that hamburger originated in Hamburg, Germany. Hamburg, ha! <laughs> the second largest city in the country, which mm-hmm. I didn't know that either. Yeah, I only know what's the city in Germany? Munich. Do they have another city in Germany? Isn't it Munich? What's the what's the? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know shit about Germany. Uh, in the 12th century, Hamburg was an independent trading city where beef delicacies were popular. By 1869, a meat patty on bread called Ronstick, Ronstick Warm, was popular in Germany. In addition, Hannah Glasses, okay, come on, well, cookbook, the art of cooking made plain and easy, include recipe for Hamburg sauces to be served on toasted bread. The hamburger was invented in Germany. So why is it so American? I mean, oh, others argue that German American immigrants were the first to serve fried ground beef in a sandwich in the United States. Well, that makes sense then. Mm-hmm. That makes sense then. Well, look at that. I wonder how many, I bet you so many foods we'll find out are like traced back uh, definitely to different countries. Everything was brought over here. Mm-hmm. What's a real American food? Sadly, the Bar- burger. That's what I thought. It was like the burger and french fries is like the most American, what's it called? French fries, but. Yep. That's like the most pancakes. That's probably over there. Pancake sounds very American. What's a food that 
is invented here. We can't say here. You got to say America. Well, I was going to write America. <laughs> uh, invented in America. Let's see. Meatloaf. Meatloaf? The United States home to many foods, dishes, sandwiches, and desserts. Well, I heard like, see, because now cheesesteak is a variation of a sandwich where there was a dude named Earl of Sandwich, who we understand, I think, was a guy. Earl of Sandwich? Been, yeah, he was like Earl of Sandwich. Like, sandwich was a place. You ever heard like the Sandwich Islands? Mm mm. It's like like the Hawaiian Islands also called like the Sandwich Islands. Mm. Or the Cook Islands. They're all like around there. Mm-mm. You didn't learn that when you went to Hawaii? You didn't, you didn't, uh, okay. Uh, buffalo wings, which is just chicken. Clam chowder. Mm-hmm. Okay, that might be one. Clam chowder might be American. Macaroni and cheese. <laughs> Chili cone carne. Doesn't sound American at all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, and they say like a cheesesteak. That's a variation of a sandwich. Cheesesteak. Yep, yeah. yep, yep. A traditional American dish made with ground beef, meat, eggs, crumbs, and meatloaf sounds like it could have definitely been uh, one of those Eastern European countries dishes. Right. I hate the name. Meatloaf. It just, it don't even sound like it was, it was thought out. A meatloaf sandwich slap though. But meatloaf. I mean. Those two together don't even sound great. So, I mean, it's a loaf of meat does not sound good. I think that's the only <laughs> meat that has meat in it. The word meat. <laughs> it's like, what meat is this? It's just meat. Just meat. Don't worry about it. It's hamburger. It's Hamburg. Amalgamation of meat. Isn't it just hamburger? Yeah. And it has like breadcrumbs and it's a Hamburg loaf. Yeah. Green bean casserole, probably. Well, I've never been a fan. Boiled hamburgers. Boiled hamburgers. That's essentially uh, about to be uh, mashed potatoes. People don't really boil hamburgers, do they? That's not a real thing. I boil hamburgers. What do you mean? It it uh it pulls all the grease out of it. Wait, 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 wait. The grease is it's a part I like to keep in there. What are I we know. talking about? Yeah, you I mean, so you're pretty much So you make a patty s- seasoning the water and then you will see the grease kind of pulling out of it. If so, you want a, if you want a really healthy hamburger, you'll boil it. So you so you make it into like a ball? No. What do you do? You're making a hamburger. You make a patty. But instead of putting grease at the bottom to kind of like getting that frying, you're pulling out all the grease. Okay, so you put the water in the pan. Not a lot. It's not floating. Okay. This is what I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah, no. I'm like, we put them in like hot dogs? No, no, no. It's not floating. It's okay. like, it's like, it's maybe like a, it's a little bit of water. So, so by the time it's done, the water be already cooked out. Okay. You keep pouring water into kind of. Does it make it moist because the water gets in the vapor? It's a lot more drier. Oh. Okay. Because the grease is getting pulled out. That sounds like a terrible way to make it's them. A lot healthier though. No, no. I used to always make it like that. No, for my health you. kids. You know. I would just eat less burgers but keep it fatty. Yeah. You gotta add. You gotta rely on the sauce and adding like, putting all the grease back. You put all the the mayonnaise and mustard back on top of it. Mm-mm. Yeah. No, thank you. Yeah. Mac and cheese sounds American. Mac and cheese is very. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Actually, we're talking about noodles, though. Is that more Italian? Well, Chinese invented noodles. I don't think that's accurate. Well, it is accurate. The Italians got noodles. What noodles? From- what Chinese noodle? You talking about? You talking about like strip noodles? Noodles were invented in China. Not elbow noodles. Well, there's no Chinese that's, noodles. That's a remix of noodles. Mm-hmm. That's like, oh, you guys did this. Oh, let's uh, let's do this. This is it's just a remix of noodles. Well, essentially, burritos or is a remix of bread. It's just flattened <laughs> a out. A tortilla. Yeah. Well, what do you think came first? A chicken. A tortilla or a slice of bread or I mean, a loaf of bread. That's just flour. These are just flour patties. So which one's the remix? Like you. you... <laughs> this is the remix. I'm sure bread came first because obviously Jesus was popping, making okay, listen, making a fish there was, sandwich. There was a lot of time before Jesus. I know, I but what I'm saying is like we, we <laughs> making a fish sandwich. Would you say? Yeah, he had a fish sandwich. He making you know, <laughs> he, he doubled he doubled the the bread and, and doubled the, the fish, and we make those again. That's a fish sandwich, right? Mm-hmm. So so I'm assuming. So hey, Zeus would have had the I, fish I'm tacos sure, popping. But I'm also sure that bread was out long because obviously it had manna and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, so. The word got out of like, hey, bread is a thing. How do you make bread? People was like, okay, listen, I want my 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 meals to be contained. 
into a, some sort of container. It's made it sloppy. Mm-hmm. It keeps falling on the side. Mm -hmm. Let's figure out a way to smash it and wrap it up in a little papoose. A what? <laughs> you know what a papoose is? I just know the rapper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so a papoose, a papoose is uh, like what uh, Native Americans used to hold their children. What? Oh, yeah, I know a papusa. Okay, but go is ahead. That, is that what it is? Well, a papusa is a food. No, a pap but no, a papoose is what you hold your. Uh, oh, that's what they called it. Like the yeah, little... to hold it when they they be doing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they running around with the little papoose. Uh huh. Look it up, know. people, because I know y'all think I'm lying. Um, hey man, so far you're like one and a half out of two right now, mm -hmm. man. I'm excited, man. You know? Things I know. I hate that he named himself that. Unless that's his middle name Pat or something. Poose. Get a little Pat Poose. Pat Poose can rap though. He can rap, but he never had a song. Tell me one of his songs. Bro, it's hard to make a hit. It's yeah. hard to make a hit. Yeah. There's a lot of talented rappers. Yeah. I love Pharrell Munch. He had one song. What is it? It's the guys that look. Which I just found out. You know what else hot? What? You know why that song is hot? Why? It's the Godzilla song. That's what I just said. I did not know this. What are you talking about? I heard that song first. No, okay. And I was like, "This this song comes in." You, hard. you never saw Godzilla before. I never invested, right? You so, never randomly saw Godzilla not ever. Not the old school one, the one that came out recently, Godzilla uh, oh, minus one? one. Yeah, minus one. And they played. I was like, "This is why this is so hot." Yeah. Bing, ding, get and, that fuck up. And when people when people hear songs that sounds familiar, I probably heard it, maybe mm -hmm. seen it on an accident mm -hmm. on channel AMC or something like that, and <laughs> heard it in the background while my mom, while my mom was watching it. Mm -hmm. And this is why hit songs happen because it's familiar. Mm -hmm. You be like, I'm attached to this sound. This is my soul, right? Mm -hmm. Like like uh, that Sting song, mm -hmm. which is also um, I can't think of the name of it, which was also Every Breath You Take. No. Every breath I take. I love that song immediately because you know it's the sound. Of it. Every move you make. Yep. Do, 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 it's a terrible. It's a, it's a great do, do, business do, move, do. but obviously it's it's, it's cheating. Because mm -hmm. you hear it sound like oh, man, I remember this. Hold on, just taking back to a when I was in third grade. This this feeling <laughs> you ain't pay attention to the actual lyrics. Mm -hmm. and you be like they got me. They sucked me in. It is weird seeing your songs that you grew up on getting sampled. You're yep. like. Mm -hmm. We're here, huh? Yeah, we're here now. Sometimes it don't even be long. You're like, this just came out, right? Just right. sampling this already, right? I think the quickest turnaround sample I heard was when did uh, I don't want to know come out? I don't want to know. Somewhere in the 2000s, early 2000s. Yeah, and they, re they just 2000s. took that entire song. Mm -hmm. They didn't even Who like. Did? Uh, the weekend. Oh, for real? Yeah, the weekend in like Twenty One Savage. Dang. Yes. But they they <coughs> they feature him in the uh, in the uh, the least the you can video, do the music video. The least you can do is mm -hmm. put me in the video, bro. Yeah. I like the fact that people do remake Hush. songs though. Oh, on my mama, on my hood, I feel fly. I feel that song. Remember mm -hmm, that? Mm -hmm. The girl. Uh, I said she get it from her mama. I didn't say you fucking right. I didn't say they fucking right. I didn't say I don't know that song. I live in it. So anyway, she took that part of the song. Mm -hmm. Oh, my mama. She took that part of the song mm -hmm. and she got a Grammy from that. And I was like. And he got a Grammy for that. I, sure. Mm -hmm. Did he? He has to. I don't even know the nigga's name. Whoever, whoever has that publishing got that Grammy also. Really? Mm hmm I gotta look that up. Mm -hmm. Somebody in the comment section, help me out, y'all. That publishing is, uh, you know, there be people who probably did a song years ago, remake Grammy. Yeah. Come out of nowhere to them. We were just sitting, getting high. Just, <laughs> I was Grammy on, showed up. I was on cocaine. I woke up with a Grammy. <laughs> I was on the top of the bridge. The I was name. about to end it, and uh, somebody pulled up randomly. Are you yeah. Carl Thomas? Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm about to jump. <laughs> I was about to jump. <coughs> Not Carl Thomas. I'm sure Carl Thomas is doing very yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, Carl. So, yeah, so Moyo said that Carl Thomas has a song, the emotional 
So emotional, and I can't let it go. It's the same sound. Do, 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 Juice World do, do, do. has the same song too. Okay. Yeah. I feel in the nothing in my heart. Same same music. Mm-hmm. I like Juice World, man. That yeah, he was depressed. That's crazy. Yeah, you ever listen to his album, Lucid Dreams? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That dude needed a hug. Yeah, um, but uh, I can't think of that girl's name. If she got a Grammy from it, dude, that's crazy because he had that one hit. Man, that one hit. But when these guys, they be digging up old records. They be in the crates, bro, just digging up old mm. and taking little things. Yeah, taking like the little. But that's the thing. If you take the littlest sample of somebody, they'll they'll get a Grammy for it. They'll get whatever. You know what's was beautiful. I, I watched this dude um, on YouTube. They showed how you dissect, how like producers have dissected songs from mm-hmm. the seventies and eighties. Mm-hmm. Ah, I love those. Beautiful. It was like you hear like a, bah, 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 and he'd be like, and he'd go to another song. He'd be like, uh, Jackson Five. Hey, dude, they take the smallest thing. I was like, you just take one sound, yeah. and they'll take that sound. I somebody did it on a. It was, I think it was Big Professor. He did Nas's. Um, uh, it, was, it was like Nas's first main song, "New York State of Mind." Mm-hmm. And it, it like so. Then it took this sample and took this sample, and I was just like, so he's like, we take that, we take that, and I was just like, Bro, you gotta have an ear, man. You gotta have a crazy ear. Yeah, just be you know to put like, those together, and just the amount of music you just have to go through to be like, ooh, just consumes. Like, hold on. And how many how many times you gotta be like, no, nah, nothing there, nothing yeah, there. It's nothing there. Yep. But like when when Kanye did Otis, mm-hmm. I was just like, that was perfect because that part. Doesn't come until the very end, right? Nah, right. Nah, nah, nah. That comes at the very yeah, end. Yeah. Believe it. It's the yeah. very end of the song, God, bro. God, it's a nah, very nah, slow nah. song. God, God, nah, nah, nah. That was it. It's such a slow song, bro. You would never get yeah. there. Yeah. So I remember listening to him, and like, when this part coming? I was like, that. Right. He heard that. It was like, ooh, something sparked. Yeah. And we're just like, oh, I, he I said, can I got loop it. This. I can loop this. Yeah. He said, I got it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's yeah, a. You got, you got a got brain it. ear, man. I don't have that. I'd be like, oh, did I miss it? Yeah, how'd you make this? Hit? I listened to this. Meanwhile, Diddy, Master P, and Dre was like, "Just take the whole song." <laughs> Master P, why you say Master P? You never think of Master P. You ever heard? Do you? Were you a Master P fan? Outside See, well, of make them say, "Oh, me body, body." If you hear the albums, I was a huge Master P fan, so I heard mm-hmm. albums. I know that sample though. Bam, bam, oh, bam, bam. That was a sample from something. I forgot what it I'm was not, though. I'm not familiar with where it came from, but when you hear songs, you be like. Do you finally hear the reaction song? You be like, Master P took this song. <laughs> Damn, I, I, like, you be like, you, 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 hold on, there's a song, um, oh, I really miss my home, and you know you're gone away. You know something? Mm. I know you've been a better place. That was like the funeral song. Okay. He did, he did that song for, uh, his brother who died. So that was literally like, a whole different song, like I really miss. I forgot the girl's name. It was like Ma Shay Say Day, or I don't know what the name. I forgot the original. I was like, nigga, this is the same song, the same <laughs> cadence, the mm-hmm. same. You know, it, it was everything. I was wondering how they did that. Like, like take Miami for example, when Will Smith did it, right? Mm-hmm. But it's like, no, maybe not. The, oh, Men in Black. When yeah, it's yeah. Like. Uh, I think their song is "Send Me, Forget Me Now," yeah. and then you're right. like, "Man, who 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 just sung all over their song?" Right? Y'all can't do that. Yeah, <laughs> they yeah. Said, and and this is this is early sampling, so they didn't have no shit in structure. They they had nothing in line. They was like, "Hey, do you mind if I take your song?" Never mind. I got it from here. Hey man, once they started paying, I imagine dog, you did a song 20 years ago, and somebody wants to pay you for it all of a sudden, and then that mug rakes and up. And we gotta pay pay digit. Internet wasn't a thing then. Right. So the internet, so people didn't even know you had a hit <laughs> until somebody took your actual album and went overseas and was like, hey, this is my song. And then when I hear people like, like I heard Timbaland take like, I forgot what it was, it was like, a, you know, like the Indian bam, flute bam, stuff like bam, that. Bam, 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 bam. And then you ever, you ever hear that song? I think the song is actually called Indian flute. Mm-hmm. And it's like, this is, Magoo is awful, but Magoo is him and Magoo on that mm-hmm. track. Um, but anyways, when I started hearing like, yeah, I mean that one too, but yeah, man, I was like, they just listen to so much music. Bro. Right. So, so you know the story behind, uh, uh, Ready or Not from Fuji's? Ready or Not? Uh-uh. The, the little, who do who, 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 Okay. Who, who. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
That's from Enya. Okay. This was the 90s, mm -hmm. early 90s when this song came out. Okay. He said he was going through the crates. Mm -hmm. This is a uh, Pros. <laughs> he says, going through Pros. And he said, um, he heard this song. He was like, man, this sound is crazy. I can hit some drums onto it. Mm -hmm. Nobody would never know that I took this part and then made it into a hit. Mm -hmm. He did not know she was the biggest person in you. We don't know. <laughs> Overseas. He never did the research. Like, who? There's no Google. There's no internet. There's no, who is this person? He took it in and said, it was like, ooh, what is this? They felt Lauren and Walker yeah. was like, no, yeah. this is it. This is it. He said he never knew how big this this artist was overseas. And to this day, she's still getting paid from that song. That, dude, That's our biggest hit. Right. There's a lot of people still getting paid from like mm -hmm. somebody else's track, bro. Yeah. I would love that. I would love if somebody remix my joke and I'm saying paid <laughs> off that mug forever. Living La Vida Loca. Uh-huh. Cisco. Uh, Got him. <laughs> My thing is though, like, it's like how much of a percentage of a song do you get to own? Though? It's like these guys get like a big chunk of it. Yeah, because because <laughs> that's that's his biggest song. But still, was like, I'm just like this one line. How do you? How yeah. much percentage do you get of that? I don't know. Yeah, I saw T Pain. He was talking about I forgot, but but like he was talking about all those guys who had like all the dances. Mm -hmm. And he, was, oh, damn, I forgot what song this was, but he was like shouting out all the. Uh, you know, DJ, whoever had to walk it out. So walk it out. And then mm -hmm. whatever. It was a bunch of, he was like, they all came for the publishing. He was like, I had to pay them. I had to pay Damn. them. I had to pay them. He was like, I'd never shout out somebody else's lyric wow. ever again. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now, yeah, 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 good. I just thought about that. That's one of his biggest songs, too. That's the Buy You a Drink. Probably. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's Buy You a Drink. And um, uh, Bruno Mars, same thing happened to him with uh, 24, 24 karat. Magic. Who do you rip off? Uh, gold all in my chains. Oh, yeah, you told me that. I think you told me that. Don't believe me, just watch. Don't believe me, just watch. <laughs> he tells like, I don't have to work again because that's one of your biggest songs. I'll take that. I'll take that. Cha -ching. I wonder if you say like a joke, can you keep that? Like, does that count? I don't think we're protected like that. You get publishing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You right, like comedians, you can do ASCAP and get publishing and mm -hmm. stuff like that for your for your album. Mm -hmm. Yeah, albums and specials. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, they, yeah. They're you know they're all eligible to win Grammys and stuff. Right, they're all right, right, going right. There. That makes sense. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Poems. So what if you what if what if you was like what if you was on stage and it was like man I'm I'm being I'm being honest man because you know Chris Rock said this difference. And the difference between black people, he getting he getting he getting. He said he he said he sued people in one for that joke before. Wow. I wonder though, because I saw the episode of The Office when they were like going there. So mm -hmm. I wonder if he ever got money for that. He said the same thing. But that's TV. I don't know if it's different. Right, right, right. Speaking of stealing jokes, mm -hmm. I don't want. Who I, is it? I would love to do this. Okay. I would love to do this. If you want to do this, I, I will post both of the jokes right now. Okay. There was a young lady mm -hmm. who came out with a joke mm -hmm. and I really enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. Hilarious. Mm -hmm. Somebody said, pulled me to the side, like, you do realize that so-and-so has this same exact joke. Mm -hmm. I think I know what you're talking about. And then I, they tagged me, and I was like, oh, my God. Because it was a dude. Yeah. Yeah. And about, like. Same exact joke. Something about dating. Yeah. Uh, like and love. Yeah. And yeah. I was like, I don't. Now it's he's like, who joke. came out first? And, and it's also like. What like it's not even like the same premise. It was the same premise, punchline, everything. Yeah. And it <laughs> she's in it. She's in. I remember like that. Like we were in a group chat. She was in a. They were like. I love y'all. <laughs> I don't. I don't know her though. Yeah. Yeah. You know. So they were like, man, they were hitting her tough in the group chat. So I remember mm -hmm. like seeing like people were tagging her. She said something like, "I guess I'll stop the this last two minutes of the." Eight minute joke it is like, like she's like, that's the only part you guys didn't see the rest. It's like, hey man, that's, that's what she said. That's how she made it being like, I guess I'll just stop doing the last two minutes of this joke then. It's like you know you saw, it. yeah, you know you saw it, which is yeah. fine. You saw it, just, just. Damn it, dude. And sometimes people get desperate, man. It's, you it's, saw it. It's sad because like you, <laughs> people are like, man, I used to think the same. Somebody would think like I thought that too. AKA yeah. I heard it before. <laughs> Now it's mine. Yeah, and you, sometimes you 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 meet somebody, 
in Montgomery, Alabama. He's like, that's a hilarious bit. This nigga will never make it out of out Montgomery. I'm going to go back to L.A. and kill this joke. Mind you, he traveled from New York. Hey, man, it's the social media age now. You yeah. put that joke up, you, you got your receipts on time. You mm-hmm. can always, I did this joke. Look, July 26th. Yeah. Yeah. Because you, you be thinking you're not going to make it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You like, I was in this small little bar in Montana. You like, he's a local comedian. I know. The only thing I remember, I remixed this dude named Nima Williams joke. You ever heard Nima remember Williams? Remember Nima Williams? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nima had this hilarious joke about, shoot, this is, this is 2004. It's like mm-hmm. I remember when I first started. He had this hilarious joke about having his black friend be in the mosh pit. He's like, oh, yeah, I like this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and he started mm-hmm. like, rip, rip, like, Smashing and you know hitting people and all that good stuff. He was mm-hmm. right in my alley, and I remember I did. Man, how that joke go? I was like, um, oh, I just had it me getting pulled over to like rock music or something like that, getting your ass beat through in a soundtrack. It was something like mm-hmm. that, and they're like, I forgot, I forgot what the song I used was, but it was just like. They, pretty much, I just whatever that joke was, it mm-hmm. was. I got it from here. It was that. Yeah, <laughs> I just remember being yeah, like, yeah. "Oh, it's so good." Oh, what if you use it in this scenario? Mm-hmm. I have an. Ins- <laughs> I got it from here. I have an inception of stolen jokes. <laughs> <laughs> you ready for this? It's borrowed enough to be original again. I had this inception of stolen jokes. So when I first started doing comedy, mm-hmm. and I had a whole church bit, mm-hmm. right? Uh, <clears throat> Moranzio. Mm-hmm. I should have said his name. <laughs> I should have said his name as I tag Moranzio. Yeah, 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 I should have said his name. He's like, I knew it. I, I obviously never seen him before. He had, he was freestyling, mm-hmm. and he was like, he said something like, um, he was talking, and he was like, so what church you go to, or something like that. And he was like, he says, just, just like you. you Something like you go to a church that has like security guards or something, huh? Like or, or like metal detectors. Mm-hmm. You walk up in there and tell them all some, uh, yeah, pastor don't want no change up in here, mm-hmm. man. You know, uh, you know, we, he liked that quiet money mm-hmm. or some, something along the lines. Like and it was a joke, and I was like, I like this entire bit. <laughs> so I just used that into my whole entire bit to go into a whole different like church these days. It's mm-hmm. crazy. So when I did that joke attached to my entire bit, this dude was like, hilarious bit, man, but that's Paul Mooney's joke. <laughs> and I was like, I know. I stole that from Moranzio. <laughs> what you mean? Yeah, yeah. Again, this is before the internet. So <laughs> so things can get can get far really sure. quick. And and people were like, that's attached to this person. So I was like, ah, oh, I gotta take this out of my entire bit. Um, but yeah, the fact that it was like already attached to people, and like I said, you heard the heard thing with, with Cat Williams and, and Cedric the Entertainer, yeah. So, mm-hmm. like, like this again before the internet, you you be hearing stuff like I can get away with this, yeah. I'm, a, I'm a much bigger person, right? People still in jokes, very fuel, fluid, right? Yeah, and people try to borrow ideas because mm-hmm. sometimes, as a brilliant, better writer, comedian, you be like. He went the wrong direction with that. <laughs> like, let, I can put him back on the path to righteousness <laughs> with my vision. And and as and as a respectable comedian, you can give him the joke mm-hmm. to say, "Hey, this is where I would have went." Or you can be like, "I got to be grimy. I'm taking the premise and then going this direction." Because mm-hmm. then you're like, "How can I use this for myself?" Yeah. Oh, that's too close. Yeah. Now man, that's the thing too. Like now someone's just too close. He'd be like, man, I, I was mm-hmm. freaking, it's gone now. Yeah, yeah. Because like for the for example, from when we had about um about what I said on podcast with uh that's why I buy prostitutes. <laughs> because I you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Somebody had tagged me when I tagged them, they DM'd me and said, Hey, you should go this direction if you use this as a joke. And I was like, Yeah, that's that's pretty funny, but I would never go as dark as that. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, I would. <laughs> um, but I was like, this is how people still jokes because it's like, that's brilliant. That's hilarious. Yeah, buying prostitutes is to this, 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 you know what I'm saying? But how many times, I've seen it plenty of times where people might say a joke to me and I got, I'm like, I just know that you saw this. 
I know, I know, I've seen everything. I know yeah. where you got this from. Yeah, you like, want mm-hmm. me, you would have set me up for failure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, you want me, you can use that. Oh, yeah, I yeah. can use uh, uh, Mike Epps' <laughs> joke. <laughs> thanks. That's thanks. I appreciate it. I let them know it's both ours now. Yeah. Yeah. You ever get somebody tag and they didn't enjoy, they didn't enjoy it, but they said, hilarious. You like, you don't like the joke. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like the tag. <laughs> I've had people go fire tag, oh fire, and then yeah. like, oh man, you use that tag? What would you say? <laughs> and why'd you hype me up? Why'd you hype me up? Yeah, I went to my homegirl and I and I and I heard her on TikTok, and, I was, and she had a little bit up, and I was like, yo, and I texted her, and I said, call me when you get available. I want to tag your your bit about this. She mm-hmm. called immediately. What's up? What's up? I'm gonna try. I'm out my do laugh factory in a couple of days. I want to tag it up. What's up? And I gave it to her. I thought, so, so this is scenario. Same situation. Same situation. She was like, okay. <laughs> and I said, yo, you're not feeling it. No, 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 no. I'm just, I'm just trying to think. That's how, how do I? How, <laughs> when do I say? Shit, you like, say in your words and tell me. I was like, never mind. You, you didn't find it. In my head, like, I, the fact that I texted her and she enjoyed it. <laughs> she didn't enjoy it. I said, okay, yeah. This is uncomfortable. I, I don't know why you called me. You didn't enjoy the tag. This is uncomfortable. She's like, hey, Dion, next time, just just text that. Yeah. <laughs> I, did, I, did, I think I did that with, uh, I did that with um, Jackson McQueen. Mm-hmm. He had put a joke up, and I was like, yo, I got a hilarious bit tag to, to say onto that. And I text him that. He like, just texted to me. <laughs> I said, like, let's not make this awkward for the both <laughs> And I You text, said, call me? Just text it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I tried to call him. He said, just text it to me. He said, and then he just said, hilarious. And then I was like, never, never yeah, again. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm like, I'm gonna block this nigga. <laughs> <sighs> what, if, what if you could block somebody online and you've never seen him again? In real life. In real life, you could really be like, bloop, and then you just, I'm done. Yeah, man, man, we were just talking about you, you and who? Yeah, me and Daryl. Oh, I blocked him. <laughs> Daryl said he didn't know he was blocked. How would you respond if somebody said, "Hey man, you, you, you're, you're, have you ever blocked somebody before?" Mm-hmm. And somebody said, "Hey man, you blocked me, bro." What, what are you saying to him? I did. What, why? He was wilding. Come on, man. Let's Come be on, real. Man, We're friends. What? Why didn't you tell me you blocked me? Because I've been contacting you for the longest. That's how it works, bro. <laughs> I didn't want you to contact. This is the point of it. I didn't want to be in contact with you. I didn't want to tell you I'm blocking you. You just blocked. You don't yeah. exist anymore. I only block one person. Yeah. Somebody I know. Uh, it's a mutual online person. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because, you know, I'm a huge Rams fan. hmm And all I ask is, don't tell me who won or lost. I like to watch the highlights. Uh-huh. And. I've muted somebody. It sounds like Shane Miller, but who did you do? <laughs> Shane, I had to mute Shane for the longest. Because Shane was doing all the. <clears throat> Shane, and for some reason, Mitch Marshawn would tell you what happened in Game of Thrones or something. Yeah. I'm like, hey, dog, yeah. not my fault. You already watched the early preview. Yeah, right, nigga, I got something for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mute. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that's so funny. Um, yeah, he was just like, he was like, yo, them Rams ain't looking too good, man. I said, yo, bro, chill out, man. Listen, <laughs> I'm going to go home and watch it. Mm. Right? He said, all right, I ain't going to say to the man. It was like halftime or something. Mm-hmm. He gave me the score. It was like 21 to 24 or something mm-hmm. like that. And I was like, hey, okay. listen, listen. Don't tell me who's going to win. I got it from here. All right? Mm-hmm. Like, let me watch the highlights. The movie, the 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 the, 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 um, the, the, the game went off. This nigga DM'd me a Rams with a sad face. Yeah, you blocked him since then? Immediately. I was like, <laughs> I was like, like, I didn't. He, I didn't tell you the score. What, what is that positive? Then block. I'm like, you are disrespectful. Why me? <laughs> Why me? Why did you have to hit me up? Has anybody blocked you before? I'm sure. Can I tell you something. I did. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? So I found out that recently that someone had blocked me. Uh huh. And then uh, I guess we got cool again because I reached out and was like, Hey man, you know we've had some odd times, but blah 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 blah. So, this was this was the girl I first dated, like in high school, when we had our you Chinese know, food. No no, 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 no. This is the girl who I first like, first like my first uh, heartbreak. Mm-hmm. We dated like in high school and stuff like that. So, so she hit me randomly one day. This is 2019. Mm-hmm. She hit me randomly. It was like, "Hey, do you have a daughter named Isabella Marie?" 
I said, yo, that's crazy. How did you know that? Since I saw you mention it on daddy issues. I said, wow, that's that's insane. That's wild. I was like, that you that you knew that. That's crazy. And she was like, you know, it was names that we had talked about for our kid one day. <laughs> it's oh. like, I was like, what? Oh my God. I was like, no, I always had I always had this name. And she was like, I don't know why I'm emotional. This was like 20 years ago, right? She was like, I don't know why I'm feeling like this. And I was like, hey man, name, name your kid whatever you want. We were, we were kids, right? I was like, because to me, this was a name that I picked. Isabella Marie. My grandmother's name is Marie, right? And it's Z, Chaz. I wanted Z names, okay? Yeah. So she was like, Isabella was my contribution. She was like, you stole our baby's name. Hold on. Is her name Isabella? My daughter. No, her her name is something else. But so so we, when we were dating, you know, you talk about kid yeah. names. So that was one. And so she's like, you use like a kid name that we made. She's like, I just figured like we both weren't going to use those kid names because it was like supposed to be like our kid names. <laughs> And I was like, all right, do whatever. <laughs> she was pissed. She was like, yo, I blocked you on here. I blocked because she was like, that was so dismissive, which I know I can be. I talked yeah. about that last week on Daddy Issues, right? I mm-hmm. was like, then I was like, no, but I, I came up with a name. She was hot, like literally blocked me because yeah. I used a. So then she was like, did, you, did your wife know where the name came from? I'm like, I came up with the name. Yeah, I told you, probably told you. She's like, no, I came up with the name. You added the Marie. And I was like, that doesn't sound familiar. Right. Because she had a horrible name for a boy. It was like Sebastian something. Yeah, yeah. And I was like. Is she, is she Spanish? No. Uh, she's yeah. black. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, you know, so, so she, yeah. she had blocked me for a long I can time. Imagine. Yeah. Because <laughs> I used it. I was just like, I don't remember me stealing her name. Oh. I just remember always I was going to name my daughter that. That I knew. Mm-hmm. But she was like, that was my contribution. <laughs> Like, Jay Phillips on this thing. What's up, Jay Philly? Yeah. Jay's What's happening? Up. Oh, Jay, a phone call. My bad, dog. I text, <laughs> him. I text him. No, I text him. I text him. I said, dog, my bad. I forgot. I did text him, though. Still didn't call him back. So, my, bad, dog. my youngest daughter, I told you the story, right? Uh-huh. Same thing. My youngest daughter mm-hmm. stole that first and middle name from my best friend. What do you mean? So, when my oldest daughter was born, mm-hmm. me and my best friend, we had we we're having children at the same time. Mm-hmm. My, but we're, they're both eighteen. Mm-hmm. My daughter is born February seventh, and her son is like March, like six or something like that, mm-hmm. right? She said, "If I have a daughter, I'm gonna name her Cadence Brooklyn." <laughs> you <laughs> saw the whole. Th- Hold okay. on. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Okay. If I have a daughter, I'm gonna name my daughter Cadence Brooklyn. I said, "I love those names. I love those names." She had a son. So she named him London, whatever, mm-hmm. right? So, so. <laughs> You're diabolical. You're diabolical. But my oldest, her name is is Dion Kaylee, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So I didn't name her after that name. So my second child comes around. You gave her enough time. I gave her enough time. <laughs> five, <laughs> years, five years apart. <laughs> five years apart. Hey, you still using this name? Right. <laughs> And I and I introduced it to Donise and I was like, hey, this is this is the names I like. And she threw out her names like she's like, oh, I like this. And the fact that her name is Kaylee, mm-hmm. we can do the cadence and spell it with K-A-Y, same mm-hmm. way, mm-hmm. to kind of connect the two the names together. And we can do Cadence Brooklyn. Because no, the other one was reversed, like Brooklyn Kaylee. Mm-hmm. Brooklyn Cadence. And then when I told her, I was like, hey, I got some good news and bad. <laughs> You're not having a girl, are you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But she didn't have another. Man. She didn't have another child until like they were like ten years apart. Did she have a girl? She had a girl, and she was like, and I said, "What's your name?" And she's like, "I ain't telling you. <laughs> I ain't telling you nothing." Uh, she you ended the name in a rally. Dirty bastard. Yeah. Stole names. Was I wrong, guys? Was I wrong? She felt very. Well, you said you didn't know. I, she. I felt like I had the name my whole time. So I was like, I don't feel bad for that. I feel like I was always going to do that. Mm -hmm. She felt very differently Mm -hmm. uh, that it was a name that she had part in and I took it. Mm -hmm. But how many years? 20 years apart? Yeah. That's a long time. That's a long time, man. That's a long time. Let me ask you this, though. Mm -hmm. 20 years apart. Mm -hmm. You you had a first love in in high school. Mm -hmm. I happened to meet this person today. Mm Mm-hmm. We fall in love. Mm-hmm. Is she out of line? It's like she's like, yeah, I'm following the podcast. I end up meeting Dion and blah blah blah. Is that is that you already married? 
Mm-hmm. Is that that's too close to me? I mean, if you're comfortable with it, I've been in there already. <laughs> <laughs> is is there a limit? There's nothing you're gonna tell me that I don't know. You're like her mom. Oh yeah, Miss Hope. How's she doing, man? Miss Hope. <laughs> is she cool? Yeah. Oh, she good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, I was talking to her brother. Oh yeah, yeah. John. Man, good dude, bro. I like him, man. Yeah. How's his kids doing? Like it's like there's yeah, nothing yeah, you yeah. don't know. It's like oh, I know all the information. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, if you cool with that, but are you cool with it? But like, what if we're all together hanging out? We talk about old stories. You just yeah, like, yeah, yeah. oh yeah. And then remember that time in high school? Remember after? But you you got a wife though. She could be upset with you. Like, yo, chill out with all the conversations about your old. School. She won't know where I can talk about high school days. Yeah, but I'm fine with it. I'm fi- like, if I'm fine with it, it's like, yeah, yeah. We we talking about, yo, about after the football game when you came home. Is there a limit? <laughs> if you're happily married, you got children. It w- it would be more if you're fine with it. Oh, I guess it would decide if I I guess if I was over it. Mm-hmm. If I was like, you don't know what she did. And she she know. is the best thing <laughs> that ever happened to you. She's the one that got away. <laughs> and, um, and the whole time you watching me having a good time, like y'all got a little handshake and whatnot. <laughs> <laughs> you you watch a lot. That was all handshake. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you trying to see your <laughs> you, trying, you trying to force what with yo? Come on, let's Come do on, ours. Remember, remember ours? What are you doing? Come on. Shika, shika. Remember? Come on, please. Duh. We got to share our chemistry. <laughs> I don't know. I guess it would depend. I guess it would depend. All right, so now so now, let's say you met her and she was like, he's just, yo, he's like, yo, Chaz, let me hit you real quick, bro. So listen, man. I met homegirl. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really feeling her, bro. I want to date her seriously. Mm-hmm. I know y'all had your past. Right. I'm trying to be her future dog. Yeah. You 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 cool? And then then it's up then it's up to me, right? Right, right. And then I'm like, man, no doubt, lack. Like. Or I'd be like, cause cause then if I go like, yeah, honestly, man, I'm still a little. <laughs> cause I messed up. I'm still a little sore spot. What yeah, if yeah. she messed up? No, no, because it has to make it has to make you uncomfortable. As in, like you messed up, and she's the one who got away. Mm-hmm. And she got away. 20- but what if she did me dirty and I'm still mad well, about it? Well, that, then that will, that will make a difference because now that is not even a good scenario no more. <laughs> but, if like, I told, it. But, but if I told you she did me dirty 20 years ago, it's like, yo, man, she she. Oh, she's still hurting you? What I'm saying, if it was 20 years ago, but I'm still mad, like I never healed? Yeah. <laughs> you need a therapy then. So then, so then, but then if I was like, I don't know, like, man, she she kind of, she cheated on me, man, 20 years ago, bro. Like, mm-hmm. I, I still have a, I blocked her, I still have a sore spot for her. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It ain't all good. We just be like, thanks, man. And still date her? It's your future. <laughs> Cause then you had to be like, hey, listen, Chess. Yeah. I'm gonna date her. <laughs> but can we still be friends? I'm we still we still are we still lack on it, Chess, yeah, yeah. or is this gonna break us and, up? And she's gonna be here helping out with the podcast. <laughs> That's not what happened, Chess. <laughs> what did she say? You didn't start. <laughs> She got. She breaking up. She. Is you deep. never wrestled. What are you she, talking about? She you is in the chess club. All your stories. Everything. <laughs> what? You you were in the chess club for like six <laughs> years. What? Come on, man. <laughs> I got the yearbook right here. <laughs> Remember that time you got me pregnant? I tell you, just what? Wait, wait what? <laughs> Both of us is like, hey. That's a tough scenario. <gasps> yeah. I, for me, it wouldn't be that tough though. Mm-hmm. I'm like, man, you like, totally fine with it. Twenty years ago. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. I'm like, dude, my guy, be mm-hmm. happy. Yeah. I would be more worried about you that we had the history. Because especially growing up in the same city, I'm like, man, man, that 7-Eleven down on Saginaw. Mm-hmm. It, remember, we used to be all there. It would be me, you, blah, blah, blah. You mm-hmm. just on the outskirts looking at Like, you ever been to somebody else's house, like, when you go visit their family? Right. And all their friends or cousins, all these stories? Yeah. And you just be like, yeah. hmm Yeah. That's crazy. Right. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Oh, y'all did that? You have nothing yet, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's a show, that shows your, your security, though. Mm-hmm. That's, that's it cool. shows how secure you are as a person. Mm-hmm. Because you're like, you can't be upset with somebody's memories. Right. Unless y'all getting, if you're just being rude, like, give me the time I bent you over, 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 the, bit, <laughs> over the bridge. God damn. <laughs> yeah, that's just Remember funny. you said I had the biggest. <laughs> Remember her? I had the biggest, huh? That's still true? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can you say it again? For my life. The mic is on. Yeah, cause cause I, I I think about my old relationships mm-hmm. and they they obviously are living their lives. Mm-hmm. I don't feel a way. Yeah, you know I've actually met people's husbands and, mm-hmm. and boyfriends. I don't be like, you have no idea. 
the things we did. She still double jointed. <laughs> You still do that little thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's you just being rude. Huh? Hmm? <laughs> that just shows how insecure you are as a person. Oh, she didn't tell you about that, huh? Yeah. But I will say this. She didn't tell you about the clock tower, did she? I will say this that uh this sort of happened. This is a girl I was dating. Mm-hmm. Um we broke up because we went to different colleges. Mm-hmm. And we were still cool. No bad blood at all, right? Mm-hmm. Grown up stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, still talking. And then randomly, my homeboy hit me up who I play football with. Mm-hmm. I don't have like a relationship with him, but just like, you know, I was a D tackle. He mm-hmm. was, you know, the other D tackle, right? Mm-hmm. Just want to give you a heads up, man. You, yeah. You're boys, but you're not like boys. Yeah. Boys. It's yeah. Like, I, know. I get it. Yeah. Give you a heads up, man. Me and uh, so and so are getting close right now, man. Just wanted to know if. Uh, um, you know, we're gonna move forward. Just want to kind of get your blessings, and you know, he, she told me y'all broke up. Y'all feel good though, so I don't want me to. Know. So me trying my best to hold it because I was still shooting my shot at her. Oh, okay. As in, like this, this, this kind of still stay, stay yeah, in contact. You still wanted to have yeah. that. Uh-huh. Me trying my best to hold it together. Oh, nigga, hell yeah, we good. we good. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. This is where the petty comes from. The, <laughs> The eighteen year old trying my best to hold it together. He's like, Nigga, yeah. So all you got to do, if you really want to get her, you dirty. <laughs> she loves this you right dirty here. Dirty. She loves this. He said, "All right, cool." <laughs> As in, like, why are you telling me this? And when I tell you, I, I went in the car like. Why did she tell me they was getting serious with somebody else? Yeah, I said, Unbreak my heart. When I tell you, I was hurt Dang. because it caught me off guard. Oh, okay, well, you gotta go understand. We at the club, so it was it was college, out of college, back home. All the high school students went to a little club. Mm-hmm. See him in the parking lot. What up? What's going on with your brother? Hey, how's school? How's school? Oh, so he told, he told you this in person? In the parking lot, yeah. That was solid, though. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to let you know that me and so-and-so is, is I was like, in my head, how, how long? <laughs> I've been talking to her. The fact that you try to put that on him in his face. Hey, man, if you really I... want to get her. <laughs> yeah, she got a little tattoo on her in the thigh. You nibble on that, you get the honey. You feel me? Worked every I was time. Hurt every by the same. Time. You good? Hey, hey, ain't nothing to a plan. <laughs> what you want to do though? If you really want to get her moist, you got to nibble on her in the thigh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Tell you, man. Oh God. <laughs> you go. You good, man? <laughs> Yeah, but go give me some uh, White Castle. <laughs> she used to love White Castle. She loved it. And then immediately, I called her up like, yo, hey, congratulations on you Your and new her. relationship. Yeah, yeah, but I try to be cool. Did you save it some stank? You ain't put no stank on it? <laughs> yeah, you did. I did. Hell, you a little relationship. I did. Yeah, what are you yeah. talking? Did she say, did she try to play it all? Did she know what you're talking about? No, so, so. What are, you, what, are you, what are you talking about? Like? So it's, it happened back and forth of like conversations back and forth. Mm-hmm. So I was like, hey, congratulations on uh, you and uh, this is me trying to get like some real, like he could be lying. Mm-hmm. Congratulations yeah, on really you feel. and, uh, you know, so-and-so, you know, getting getting together and whatnot. She was like, he told you that? And I was like, yeah, you know, that's the homie right there. That's, now I'm trying to, that's the homie right there. That's one of my good friends. I Man, why can't he talk to me? We go way back. Yeah, yeah. He's not my good friend. He's yeah, it's the homie. We're in the together. We're yeah, teammates. Right. I'm like, for life. <laughs> we got tattoos together. My best friend. Yeah, why wouldn't he tell me this? And she was like, yeah, we've been talking about blah, blah, blah. It's like, that's what's up, man. Congrats, man. That's what's up, dude. And then she went back to him. Why would you tell him that? He was like, cuz, man, I know y'all dated on all, all, uh, senior year. And then, and then she can't, she's like, I hated him for telling you that, man, because that was none of your business. I was like, okay, we've been talking all through freshman year in college. Yes, it is. Like, like I was still shooting my shot at you. I came to visit you at your college. Like, I was still shooting. She's like, yeah, but I told you we wasn't going to be a thing. I, yeah, I heard you. <laughs> but I'm still shooting. What's that supposed to mean? Yes. Um, 
I think I was hurt. Mm -hmm. Mind you. They still married to this day? No. No. <laughs> Mind you, I still had my own girlfriend. Of course you did. You I dirty still had bitch. my own girlfriend. Of course you did. Dirty lack. Did yeah. she know about your girlfriend? Did what? Did the girl you were still shooting no, your shot at? No, no, no. I just no? told, I just told oh, my okay. best friend. My best friend. Oh, you. Yeah. Okay. Oh, girl, that's my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that? <laughs> girl, that's my friend. Dirty bastard, yeah. yo. You men ain't. Yeah, you had to try to. But she's happily married now. Yeah. She she got uh, she second marriage. Oh, you know. <laughs> yeah. You know, she's my good now. It's hard girl. to keep together. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. And you see all that goes in keeping a marriage mm -hmm. together. You're like, it is a lot. Is it offensive to somebody say y'all still married? Not anymore. You know what's yeah. funny, bro? You ever, this is what I think of marriage. Remember when Spider Man was holding that train back? <laughs> He's like, oh, oh. Yeah. That's holding your marriage together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. We work. Mm -hmm. you like, man, I'm, I'm on my last little thread of web. <laughs> I Until I pass out. I'm surprised yeah. he didn't shit on himself. <laughs> Liquid has left his body. <laughs> when I got married, I was the first. I was like, oh, this is, <laughs> he gave it all. He got to hold yeah. this train together without yeah. falling off, bro. Yeah. I was like, yeah, oh, boy. Yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah. Let's go up, man. Let's see what they're talking about. Mm -hmm. That was a wild. Um... What's up, Reggie? Afternoon, fellas. Hump day. Chinese not adding cheese. To Chinese not adding cheese to noodles. They should though. <laughs> Ramen and cheese is kind of fire, man. Man. Uh, let me say, let me say, let's go up. Hey, we like, we missed a lot. Yeah, yeah. we were talking. <laughs> Pulled pork, maybe Hamburg. Like, okay, let's go. We way up here. Okay, okay, all right. Let's see here. Yeah. Like put the hard er on that hamburger. A hamburger. I'm flown into a hamburger. I'm flown into Frankfurt. Oh, Frankfurt. That's another city. What's the capital? Munich. Yo, lack just needed more conviction. <laughs> it definitely sounded true. Theirs are probably boiled, boiled hamburgers. Germany has amazing food. Really? I just know from the Brachwurst. Uh, I feel like. A pork burger might be too delicious. Like they invented it and mm. then they had to destroy all the evidence. Probably fire, bro. Because pork belly is fire. Mm -hmm. Bacon's fire. Mm -hmm. Ham is fire, even mm -hmm. though now I'm wondering what exactly we're eating. Is it a problem to have all the meat as a burger <laughs> <laughs> and just chop it up? And like grind it like a grind. <laughs> like it's turkey, ham, chicken. That doesn't even sound like it. It's too many different. Turkey be dry. It's not like too many different textures and stuff, man. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't think so. Um, there is a ground pork that can be formed into a burger and then thrown onto a grill by deli. A ground pork. I guess I've had like, like a crumble. Like I've done that with like sausages. Is that kind of the same? No, yeah, that's a ground pork. That's right. Uh, we're talking about ground beef uh, sausages, breakfast right. sandwiches, breakfast sandwiches. I've done that. Yeah, that's essentially. Uh, Ooh, we'll put that in a patty. Mm-hmm. That's probably a problem. Uh, wait, wait. You boil the hamburger to get rid of the grease, then you store old bacon grease for eternity <laughs> in the air fryer. <laughs> make it make sense. <laughs> Moy will be having you down. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't stand them either. Chinese don't do dairy. Chinese don't do dairy? Mm -mm. What oh, dairy What dairy meal do they have? They don't. They be like, yeah, y'all drink cow's milk? That's mm -hmm. crazy. About the tap. I still don't know what song Carl Thomas sing. What? I still don't know what song. Uh, I love Victoria Monet. Who's that? That's a girl we're talking about. Um, oh, my mama. Oh, uh, my hood. Producing is an art. I love it. Ninth Wonder is amazing at it. Indeed. Afternoon, fellas. Happy home. Okay. Miss you, Brandy. That was a great song. Brandy was a dog they were singing about. I just don't know what you're talking about. Almost immediate old Eminem sample for Dido. Oh, yeah. It was great. I saw T-Pain reacting to Dion Lack. Oh, yeah. Was that real? Yeah. Now see, this is what I wanted to text Dion. Was this a real video? Mm -mm. Because I know Lack. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it look great. Yeah. I said it in the caption. Oh, what'd you say? If you made it this far, <clears throat> just know that this is not real. No. This is all for promotional purposes. <laughs> nice, though. Yeah, I let people know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to text you. I was like, hey, man, this is real. Because I almost reposted it. <laughs> you can't. That's the whole point of it. I don't know if you repost your fraudulence. <laughs> I'm going to um, keep doing it, too. <laughs> it was great. Mm-hmm. 
how to block some people sometimes some mental space. Muting is a soft block for sure. That was so intentional. Oh dang, she wants credit for the baby name. <laughs> Maybe name that's a reach. Uh, that's my ass. If not, she gonna message you about this episode, probably. Whoa, that's kind of creepy. You should reblock her up for her. <laughs> <laughs> She's and we're back. here for sure. Um, man, you know, like I like the idea that people from high school or whatever still watch. Like they still, you know, they're like, oh man, Shaz is doing this. He's on this thing. They they support. I, I love that. I appreciate that. <laughs> she had the record scratch. She's like, it's a Bella Marie. <laughs> Ain't no way this use my baby name. <laughs> Do you have any kids? Absolutely not. No. What if she's like, I have six girls. She's like, Do you name her that? No. <laughs> like, you you skipped over to yourself. <laughs> It'll only be bad if your name, uh, if you name a if you name you and old girl son Chaz T. <laughs> All right. Man, what if she had a kid, she named her son Chaz? That'd be mm-hmm. nuts. I'd be in trouble. I don't know if it's an in, uh, insecurity when it comes to memories. If what's an insecurity? Oh, what were we talking about? We're oh, talking we're about talking about um, if I uh, if we're talking about if I dated your ex girlfriend. Oh, years ago. okay, right, right. But mentioning the memories for spite is just wrong. All right, Mario. There is also the this person with the shared memory still has feelings. Lex origin story: the dirty Dion beginning. Turducken is a thing. Turkey duck and chicken is delicious. But well, what can you find on that? Sing the song. I really miss you, Brandy. Miss you every day. Missing your. I don't know that song. I really miss you, Brandy. Even though you're going away, you heard something for? So, you, well, also you haven't heard the 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 uh, Master P version either. I don't think so. He just took that entire song and made it homie. Yeah. Dang. <clears throat> His brother died, and he said, "I got it from here." Dang. <laughs> mm-hmm. He just—it's just the insert. Miss you, homie. <laughs> <laughs> the exact same song. <laughs> That didn't yeah. sound quite right. Mm-hmm. Sound a little. That's a that's a good time to be alive, man. In the seventies, or in producing, you just take songs you found in a in a uh, like a garage sale, mm-hmm. and you think that the artist will never find it. And you're like, I want to take this part right here and make it. And it's like they'll never find this. Next, saw, you know. I saw this debate about what era has like the worst music. What era? What era? Okay. Well, it has you know it's like the best music, right? Yep. Yep. So the poll came down to the 80s had the worst music. Worse. 2000s and 2010s. Hmm. Uh-huh. It was like, there were people was like, hip-hop came in the 80s, but it's like, but that was the bad stuff in the beginning. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But they're like, man, no, nah, you had Run DMC, you had like all these, uh, what's the, what's the, um, what are those little, like little electric bands or whatever mm-hmm. they were, you know what I mean? Yeah. It was like, music was changing. Right, right. You know, and then. Because we're coming from the disco area. Coming from the disco era. Mm-hmm. So you had a lot more electronic. Right. Funk. You had a lot more probably uh, metal. Mm-hmm. Right. Rock. Right. Right. This is why it's important for people to take chances when it comes to music. Because hip hop comes from disco, rock mm-hmm. and roll. Mm-hmm. The break beats. Right. Like, get the drummer some. Mm-hmm. Get the drummer mm-hmm. some. Mm-hmm. And let him go nuts. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 And then just and just and just thinking about like somebody was like, dude, we got the break dance on this, mm-hmm. and it was like, hey, you ready for a song? <laughs> and they break that, and it's like, yeah, get swing your arm from left to right, and it was like, I'm gonna give you a soundtrack to your dancing, and they were like, what is we can do it all night, <laughs> all night, yeah, like loop loop that again. They was like, okay, I got it, I got it. Somebody say, oh, yeah. Wave your hands all oh, in the oh. air. Why was that the sound too? The accent. It was, I think it was just easy to rap on beat. It was new. It was like, hey, everybody. One, clap and two, your hands. And three, four. Clap your hands, everybody. If you got what it takes. <laughs> like, we got to bring that sound back. Mm-hmm. What was that? That's when Cats were trying to put their own thing on yeah. it now. They're like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Get the hands and you put your, se- and you put your leg on all the air. So wave your hands like you just don't care. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah. Put the place on fire. <laughs> that little singing on fire. Uh, Curtis Blow was a pioneer. Yeah. That's, a, that's, that's the, who, when you hear that voice, who do you hear first? I mean, definitely Curtis Blow. These are the breaks. breaks. Break it up, break it up, break it up. I don't even know down. what that means. <laughs> all the break dance? I don't know. These are the, as in like, this is the break of the song? Breaks or? in the heart, breaks in the heart, breaks in the heart. Hold on. Hard. What? 
It's called break dancing. Mm -hmm. Cause this is when the break, the beat breaks down. <laughs> is that it? Is I'm, the reason why that? Probably. Cause there's a song and it's like, well, remember it was the dance break. That's what I'm saying. It's a, it's a, it's a break. Cause you know, they had like a, a hook, they have a chorus and the beat breaks. Cause that's, that's when the beat breaks. Mm -hmm. So now it's just the beat. Mm -hmm. So it was like, so it was like, uh, what is this? These are the breaks, right? I guess. Are maybe. we finding this out right time? I mean, I don't time? know because the whole song he talks about a lot of different breaks. Break it up, break it up, break it up. It's like as in break up the day. Like, come on, keep break dancing, y'all. And I gotta look at the lyrics. Breaks, uh, right? These are the breaks. These are the breaks. What are these dances y'all doing? These are the breaks. <laughs> break it up, break it up, break down. Mm -mm. Mm, 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 I wonder mm, if was mm, he just like, like did, did he write it and he was like, Whew. yeah, these lyrics is crazy, son. Mm -hmm. These lyrics is crazy, yeah. b. And then sometimes they were just like, you know, rap means rhyming and poetry. Mm -hmm. So they were just like, we don't even gotta really talk about nothing. We could just be just saying things like the fact that he opened up the song, this classic song, first hip hop song. Hotel, motel, holiday in. <laughs> if your girl start acting up, did <laughs> you take a free? I thought he's embarrassed. Like, why? As in, like, that that line was fire. I was no, saying. it's not. What are you talking about? Like, <laughs> my man said, hotel, motel, holiday in. If your girl start acting up, that that's a punchline. But dog, you mean go take her a friend? Oh, that's the punchline. But why? Hotel motel, and then he just said a specific hotel <laughs> holiday in because he's letting you know whether it's the hotel or the motel holiday in. There's no hotel if your girl is acting up. I get that, I'm fine with that. Friend. We're gonna take her to the hotel, I'm fine motel, with that. Holiday in. But ho hotel motel, those are two different types of buildings, it don't matter. Then it, I can see if you say a hotel motel apartment complex, <laughs> <laughs> like he's doing a whole train of things, but he said a brand of a hotel. He was just getting specific, bro. For example, <laughs> Holiday Inn. There's no, there's no Holiday Inn motel. Doesn't matter. If your girl start acting up, then you take her friend. It's like this. It's like saying boiled eggs, scrambled eggs, <laughs> and like, eggs been the dick. <laughs> it's like he got very specific with a time. <laughs> he got very specific, like just in case you want to talk about what type of eggs you're talking about. Nah, man. Here's, here's a here's a here's a here's the brakes. Brakes on a bus. Brakes on a bus. Brakes on a car. Brakes to make you a super superstar. This is the hook. Mm -hmm. Brakes to win. Brakes to lose. But these here brakes will rock your shoes. And these are the brakes. This is about dancing, right? Mm -hmm. All right, here you go. <laughs> if your woman says stop with another man, pass the brakes. Pass the brakes. <laughs> and she runs off with them to Japan. <laughs> pass the brakes. Pass the brakes. And the IRS says they want to chat. That's the break. That's the break. You can't explain why you claimed your cat. This don't make no sense. They said we just have fun. Break. That's the break. And my bell sends you a whopping bill. That's the breaks. That's the break. 18 phone calls to Brazil. That's the breaks. That's the break. You borrowed money from the mob. That's the breaks. That's the breaks. And yesterday you lost your job. That's the breaks. Well, these are the breaks. <laughs> Break this it up, makes break it up, no break it up. Break down. He freestyled out all this, dude. Oh, this part. This, hey, this is. Come on. Breaks on the stage, breaks on the screen, breaks to make your wallet lean. <laughs> breaks when it's cold and breaks when it's hot. Some folks got them, some have not. But these are the breaks. I don't make. Break what are up. the breaks? Hold on, he keeps explaining. To the girl in brown, stop messing around. Break it up, break it up. To the guy in blue, what you gonna do? Break it up, break it up. To the girl in green, don't be so mean. Break it up, yeah. Break it up, and the guy in red, say what I said. <laughs> break down. Breaks on a plane, breaks on a train, breaks to make you go insane. Breaks in love, breaks in war, but we got the breaks to get you on the floor. Cause these, these are, are the, the breaks. breaks. Break it up, break it up, break. That nigga was freestyling this entire song. They recorded it. And he had said, yo, you got a hit. He had said, how long is this song? It says verse two. He said, can can I rewrite this? Like, no, nigga. It's already a hit. He said, I was freestyling. I, I don't even know what I was talking about. What is the breaks? Can you tell us what it means, Curtis, bro? They were, they were, they were like, hey, man, you got you got what you, you got to rap? You got it written down? 
No, I, I feel like he was recording it at a party. And they said, record. And they said, yeah, you was flowing. He was, though. You were flowing. Like, anytime you, you like, if, if as long as the rhyme is rhyming. Right. It's you're flowing. If you don't like, blah, 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 yeah, now somebody's like you, you messed up. Hey, even rapping like that, freestyle is hard. It's, it's very hard. <laughs> no matter what you're doing, yeah, to th and especially for that long, if you're right. going off, you're yeah. going off, bro. Like yeah. that's that is not an easy thing to do, no yeah. matter what. I need to talk to Curtis about this. What are the breaks? And he was he nothing of that stuff makes sense, and none of that describes what the break was. I'm like, oh man, let me tell you something, man. <laughs> I was so high. <laughs> I was on that. Yeah. Uh, what what they call heroin? The, the white oh, girl. Was, the, no, it the, was it? the white horse. No, I'm trying to get this other. Two. Dang, dang, I forgot what they yeah. called it. Uh, damn it, mm -hmm. that has a wild name. Uh, it really does depend on the type of music, rhythm, and poetry reaching to make it reaching to make it rhyme. Rap started with the DJ, so they were seriously coming off the dome. Bro was definitely on cocaine. <laughs> Uh, Lone Think, they wrote them initially, then they party standing next to the DJ booth, talking to and about the people around you. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. Mm -hmm. Girl in red. Mm -hmm. That booger sugar. No, that's not what I was thinking of, but uh, there was another name for heroin that has a wild name. The White name. Horse. I've no, heard but it. that's not what I'm Do talking you about. you want to ride it? I gotta find it now. It was called, it was a wild ass, I'm like, this is what y'all called it? <clears throat> I don't no. think the, they wrote it initially. Uh, um, to and about people around you. Yeah, they was freestyling their ass, though. They was like, there you go up in the air. <laughs> you ain't there sitting there got, in got, the chair. You got four beats to think of something else. <laughs> it's like, he got a red shirt on his hat. <laughs> I was going to do this, but I rap. <laughs> Before I leave up out the place, <laughs> yeah, like, uh -huh. Uh, I need to go and find me mace. <laughs> y'all recording this? Damn, damn! Don't don't post this, y'all. Please don't. I never heard China White. Makes mm -hmm. sense though. Actually, makes the most sense. Damn it! These aren't the ones I was thinking of. These are the breaks. How long we been on? Yeah, I think it's time. It's time to get up on out of here. That dragon is hilarious. <laughs> Come on, that dragon, baby. Mm -hmm. I am hungry. I'm not. I shouldn't have ate that uh, <laughs> cold. Uh... Yeah, you couldn't. Couldn't. Sh you couldn't. Uh, you gonna shit a brick? Warm, warm it up a little bit more. I did. I, but I stopped that twenty eight seconds. What is this lag watching? Is you breastfeeding a dog? What are you watching? Somebody uh, posted this. Like watching videos during our Nigga, podcast. You, you, you. <laughs> Lex like, yeah, hold on. Keep them entertained as I scroll. <laughs> um, my heroin maybe Skag. No, uh, The Get Down was a good show about hip hop origins. The Get Down was great. The Get Down was a great show. Mm -hmm. I didn't watch it. It was really good. Is there any shows that everyone has watched but you have them not watch? It's like, man, everybody talk about this and I just happen to invest into it. Yeah, um, this is us was one. Yeah, me too. Um, I know it's great. Shoot, it's a bunch. How to get away with murder. Yeah, I never watched her other show, Scandal. Oh, and the other show, Hospital. Oh, uh, Grey's, Grey's Academy. I mean Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man, ain't that funny? What were you even trying to say? I said Grey's Academy. <laughs> Classic Grey's Anatomy. I don't think you even said that. That's it was like <laughs> Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> I don't know what you was trying to say. Mm. <clears throat> um, yeah, I don't know. Like, I wanted to watch it. I missed. Um, uh, what was what was the the biker one? Oh, uh, I can see it. <coughs> Pardon. Um, 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 cause I remember they they made the spinoff Mayans, but it was right, right before that. Right. Um, yeah, dang. I can't think of the name of it. Cause I always meant to watch. It. I still might. I still want to try to watch it mm -hmm. one day. It was on FX. I'm trying to think, man. Uh, if there's anything that's like major that I've missed, like, dang, everybody saw that but me. I'm way too far mm -hmm. behind now. But most for the most part, if a show's like that big, I've probably seen it or up to date. Mm -hmm. I haven't. Like, I was, yeah. you know, up to date with the Breaking Bads and Game of Thrones and yeah. House of Dragons. And if it's like that crazy. I didn't watch, uh, what's the Netflix one? 
Um, Stranger Things. Stranger Things. Solid. Good time. And I watch uh, Game of Thrones. <clears throat> Lady in the Lake. This Us Is Us is amazing, more. but didn't finish, though. Took too much emotion, and life was getting too real. Caught up in fiction. Uh, <clears throat> that's why I don't watch a lot of dramas, bro. I'll be like, hey, man, this shit is already heavy. You know it's a great show? Mm-hmm. I love shows when it's like, there's an easy task. Mm-hmm. Simple. Pilot. We're going to go to point A to point B. Mm-hmm. That is the premise of this show. Mm-hmm. And then it's like, things just keep falling apart. Pretty much like Breaking Bad. Mm-hmm. Good Girls is like that. Good Girls? Great, oh, great I heard it was show. really good. Never great seen show, it. man. I heard Good Girls. Great good. show. It just shows three friends. This is the premise. Three friends. Who are down on their luck financially mm-hmm. and it was like it's to the point now guys my daughter's sick your your son is about to you know go to jail and it everyone's financially let's rob this grocery store i work there we can i can figure it out from there it just went chaotic mm-hmm. chaotic it's like they're, they're like three four seasons all one day <laughs> No, 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 no. Because of this incident mm-hmm. has has trickled an entire <laughs> things are up in their lives. Yeah. As in, like we can't get up out of here because the money they stole. It, it was like a. It was like a. Um, it's all all in the pilot. The money they stole was not the grocery stores. It was like a bigger drug dealer. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, you gave me the money back, but I own you now. <laughs> all of my eyes, you guys do one job. You guys are good, oh, and and then things kept happening. And things go awry. Yeah, and it was like to the point now. It's like season four. Was like we, we got to kill him <laughs> because he is dragging us along. I love I love the ideas of like <clears throat> when you're in season three, season four. You're just like oh, we'll do, we'll, we've done every story we can think of. What what else can we do? Oh, we gotta go bigger and better, baby. Yeah, yeah. Because you yeah. need that season five. Right, right, right. They'd be desperate for shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anywho, let's do it. Appreciate y'all, man. Thank y'all for watching around here. Let me douse my mouth. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Somebody just, uh, I gotta get out of here. Still feel a little dry. Still feel a little dry. Hold on, y'all. <clears throat> I gotta do it. Very my dry. My beatbox is sucky. This last one. <clears throat> 630. 6.30 and no one else knows. Bing! Holding hands. Huh? We are way too long. <clears throat> uh, thank you guys so much for watching another episode of Lacroni and Chaz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check, please. Do you mind if I give them some more? Yes, please. A lot of laughs we cooking up in this podcast. I can't see the live stream. Let's talk to the conversation. We can't leave in the game. Dark the elbows on my sleep. Let's go to Papa Lacroni and Cole and Pepsi. Let's go to Chaz Rogers. Make ready for blessing. I'm like, oh, E.T. I guess we pay for the pills. So give us another check, please. I emphasized on it. Pepe pe 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 Yeah. So it's good times. Thank you all, man, for watching. Thank you guys for watching on the YouTube. Thank you guys for watching on the live. Um, the chat is going. Thank you guys for watching the audio. Uh, if you want to watch the unedited versions, hop into Patreon. It's only three bucks. Uh, I'm finally going to post them all. I had some other ones I could not find. Damn. So I had to keep posting out of order, keep posting. So then I was like, let me just find everything. And I finally have every single unedited episode. I found them all. Because they had to be somewhere. They had to be somewhere. I found mm-hmm. them all. So I'll be posting all the rest of the final ones um, shortly. And the ride. What, what you got? days do you post, man? Stay Friday consistent. What do you mean? I missed one day recently. But Friday's at midnight. I seen one posted yesterday. It was an accident. It was an accident. It was one time. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I can't even tell people what day it's posted. It was like, it's Friday at midnight. It was one accident, bro. One time. Happened once. Make Probably sure twice at the most. Watch our podcast posted Friday night at midnight. Great time. Stay up for it. Or wake up to it. So, or set your alarm for midnight. Why midnight? Can you just be lazy and doing the time? How am I, how am I being lazy? I can because, put any button. Yes, because it starts off at midnight. As in, you can change the time to what time you want to post it. But if you don't do anything else. Look, if you look at all the other clips, they're all at 11 a.m. or something like that. So, no lack. Okay. Got you. I'll let people know. All right, y'all. Toodaloo. I haven't eaten anything since yesterday's. Thank you. My fast is about to break.